securitycameracan.com. In this video, I will show you how to view your DVR using our brand new PSS software for Mac computers. First, your Mac computer has to have some uh, requirements and basically this, the computer has to be running Snow Leopard and it has to be uh, an Intel machine. In order for you to find out, you can go to the Apple menu about this Mac and here it will tell you the version of the operating system that you're running. This software has been included on the CD that has been shipped with the DVR so basically uh, you will see the file is called macpss.zip you double click on it, unzip the file and execute this file and install PSS. It's very easy to use, it's very straightforward, just follow the instructions there and you successfully will be able to install the software on your computer. Then we can go to applications and click on PSS software. There's um, this little window will pop up and is essential for uh, the software to be running. Then it will display the first interface, the username interface is uh, basically the username is admin and the password is admin. Hit login. And the screen with the menus will pop up and you will be able to configure some of the features uh, of this software to view the DVR. Um, also, I wanted to say that you can review footage, you can download footage to your computer, and it's very easy to use. You can add multiple DVRs. It has PTZ um, controlling uh, capabilities. And once this page will open you can go to setting manage device manage and click add here under under title you can put any name you like for your DVR the description you can leave it blank if you want you can put whatever you want there you can put uh, the internal IP or the external IP whichever is the case or if you have a DYNDNS account, you can put it in here as well. In my case, I'm going to put a DYNDNS account that I have. Next is the port. Uh, by default, it's 37777. This is the TCP port on the DVR. Uh, if you change that port, you're going to have to change that port there as well and uh, basically the username and password of uh, the users that you have on your DVR or the user that you use to log in to your DVR. In my case I create, I create one for this demonstration. Just confirm the password twice and hit save. A little window will pop up here saying that successfully added the DVR to the system. Click OK and then here you will have the different views that you know your, DV, your DVR has uh, in my case it's a 16 channel DVR it can change it to 16 view and basically add all my cameras there go to device list click on the plus button and double click on the DVR that you just create and will automatically log in little window will pop up here this normally sometimes will show up if you know the disk is full just you can ignore that by just closing it click the plus button and double click on each of the cameras that you want to show up when you're done you can basically click the little X and close the software the password is admin Click OK. And you can right click this X11 and quit it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.